YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys a brand new video and it is that time of year. Call of Duty Vanguard has officially released and I gotta say I have been playing this game a lot over the last couple of days, grinding out some levels, getting some camo challenges done and I have been having a lot of fun on this game. So for Call of Duty Vanguard, I wanted to start up a new series here on the channel called Vanguard Guns in 5 Minutes, a series where I'm going to take a look at a lot of the guns within Vanguard, show off some class setups, some gameplay and talk about the guns within the game. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you to everyone tuning into the channel. Channel. If you are new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a bunch of Call of Duty Vanguard content planned over the next couple weeks, so you won't want to miss that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'm sure by now most of you have seen videos on the STG and the MP40. These two guns are very powerful in the current state of the game, and definitely the best two guns in the game, and I will cover those in future videos. But I wanted to start it off with a gun that has gotten a lot less attention in the community, and a gun that I feel is very powerful, and once people catch on, they will be using this thing a ton. So the gun we're going to be covering today is the automaton the automaton is the second assault rifle that you unlock in this game it is a high firing pretty low recoil gun which is surprising we'll talk about that here in a little bit but this gun is a lot of fun to use and i will say this gun is definitely going to be a meta gun for sure so just looking at some basic stats here the automaton has a fire rate of 833 rounds per minute which is extremely fast for an assault rifle definitely one of the fastest in this game and a damage profile of 22 with a vital damage or headshot damage of 33 meaning that will it will be a four to five shot kill now as i mentioned earlier this gun has a very high fire rate but for whatever reason the recoil pattern is very low and i think that's what is going to make a lot of people really like this gun the fact that it does shoot very fast so it seems like you're killing fast but also the recoil pattern is very controllable predictable and overall a very tight spread now if we jump over here and take a look at the class setup i'll throw it on the screen here now this is a class setup that i think you guys will have a lot of fun running running obviously people have personal preferences and stuff that they like to run so feel free to change it but this is a good base idea on what will make the automaton run the best starting off on the muzzle I like to run the mercury silencer it's gonna give me sound suppression and then plus one recoil control only con here is it's gonna take away one on my damage range for the barrel, I like to run the Anastasia Sniper Barrel. It's going to give me bullet velocity and range increase as well as an accuracy increase. And it's going to take away some hip fire accuracy, which I don't really care because I'm not really hip firing too much with assault rifles. Optic, I like to run the Slate Reflector on most of my assault rifles. Obviously, you can run anything, but with a high fire rate gun, I like to run something that's smaller and doesn't have as much magnification so I can lock onto those targets pretty quickly. For the stock, I like to run the Anastasia Padded Barrel. It's going to give me plus one accuracy accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So when I'm firing and keep going, it's going to give me more accuracy and recoil control as well as plus one to my flinch resistance. The only cons here, it's going to take away one on my initial accuracy and recoil. So when I first shoot, it'll be a little bit bumpy and then one minus one on my aiming stability. For the under barrel, I like to run the M3 ready grip. It's going to give me plus one aim down sight speed, plus one sprint to fire speed and plus one aim walking speed while only taking away one on my recoil control. I personally like this a lot it's gonna be a lot more snappy a lot more responsive and easier to use the gun for the magazine I like to run the 45 round magazine it does give you those extra bullets however it does take away some of that speed but we got that back with the foregrip so I don't mind that too much ammo type I like to run the subsonic so I'm off the mini map and then for the rear grip I like to run the fabric grip it's gonna give me more speed increases plus one to my aim down sight speed plus one to my sprint to fire speed and plus one to hip fire recoil recovery and then minus one to my accuracy for the proficiency in the kit, completely up to you. This is personal preference, but I like to run sleight of hand so that I can reload faster for my proficiency. And then for the kit, I like to run fully loaded. That way I can get more ammo. But there you go, guys. That pretty much has it for the automaton. This gun is a lot of fun to use. The high fire rate with the low recoil is something that we don't see in Call of Duty too often. And I think a lot of people are going to really start to gravitate towards this gun, especially when we see patches and nerfs for the STG 44 and the MP40 and other guns like that. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you are new, like I said, please be sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Vanguard content. I got a bunch of series ideas and video ideas for this year, so you won't want to miss that. But thank you everyone for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next upload.